Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about hiring a business coach. All right, so I mentioned before that I started Overpass back in 2004. However, the company grew very slowly for the first eight years of existence because I would only work for one client at a time and I was too afraid to go out and get other kind of clients. I've talked about my fear of cold calling before and it's always been there. All right, but over the last five years, it's grown a lot where we're taking on more clients and we're doing more work. But when I start looking at it, it's not growing as fast as I'd like to. And I had to start taking a look at things and realize that it wasn't so much, it wasn't the technology, it wasn't the market, there's plenty of work out there. But a lot of the times the things holding me back were the things up here, the things I said I would be doing and not doing. So finally at the beginning of last year, I started, I decided to start investing a little bit more in training and, and bettering myself where previously it was like, yeah, I don't need that kind of thing. I'm disciplined enough. I can do all this stuff on my own. I have been mean, we made a lot of progress so far, but I had to look at the things I was not doing because I was holding myself back and I wasn't holding myself accountable. So last spring, I went to a business coach. So I've been for the last nearly a year now, I've been going to a business coach here at Action Coach in Goring, and it's been going pretty well. And it's my big thing about this was a lot of the business coaches that I spoke to, and I spoke to a lot before, they weren't really running big businesses. They weren't really where I wanted to be. But then I read this book by Tim Grover, and I don't know if you know who he is. He has a book called Relentless, which is a really, really good book. Tim Grover is the coach, he was the coach of Michael Jordan. So I read his book, and it's, it's a good book, but it gets repetitive after, after a while, you know, discipline, 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 whatever. But good book, and I, but I'd never seen the guy, and I thought, this guy must be, if he's a coach of Michael Jordan, he must be like 10 feet tall and you know, way better than Michael Jordan, but he isn't. He's not, he's not better than Michael Jordan, he's the coach. He looks at, he makes sure he does what he's supposed to do, looks at the basics, makes sure he watches the game board and all this kind of stuff. So then I started thinking, maybe I should look for a business coach. And for a couple of years, I started looking into this and I called around a little bit, but I just wasn't, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to, to pay money for that or if I could trust somebody. So finally, I, for the last year, I've been going to business coach and things have been, been getting better. So the, the big benefit that I find having a coach rather than a mentor, just somebody to hold me accountable. When I say I'm gonna do something and then I don't end up doing it, somebody say, I thought you were going to do this. And I was in high school, I was never into sports. I was in the journalism staff. So I never really had a coach in high school, but I did have a drill sergeant in the army. And one thing a drill sergeant did was they pushed you farther than you thought you can go. When you thought you couldn't do any more push-ups, the drill sergeant would show you you could do more by screaming in your face and get you moving. When you thought you couldn't run any further, the drill sergeant will keep you moving further. And this is what I needed from a coach. A lot of people hire personal trainers for the same reason, but you know, I, I needed this. I needed this in the business. I needed it for overpass. So. So far, it's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. But I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and also ask you guys. Have you ever hired a coach, either for, for business or life coach or anything like that? And, uh, and how has it worked out for you? Because I'm pretty happy. So I go to, just to let you guys know, I go to, um, it's like about half an hour from the office. It's called Action Coach. It seems to be pretty good. Um, they, they, my coach here won an award recently, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, but have you ever gone through a coach or do you think, spending money on coaching is a waste of money because I know a lot of people think that too. And up until a couple of years ago, I kind of thought the same thing too, but starting to be proved wrong a little bit here. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.